Richard Dreyfuss is one of the best actors of his generation. He began his career at age 15, and he's now 75, and he's got at least five films that'll be released later this year or in the next year or two. But the truth is, we're now seeing the last of Richard Dreyfuss. He's decided to quit acting. In this video, we're going to talk about his life and his career and what he has to say about his sudden retirement. Join Facts First as Richard Dreyfuss sadly confirms why he quit acting. Richard Stephen Dreyfuss was born October 29, 1947 in Brooklyn. His father Norman was a restaurateur and attorney, and his mother Geraldine was a peace activist. Despite not coming from a showbiz background, Richard Dreyfuss was interested in acting from a young age. As a child, he took acting classes and studied at the West Side Jewish Community Center under acting teacher Bill Miller. He took it seriously and was eager to start his career early. He made his acting debut when he was only 15, appearing in the TV series In Mama's House, and he never looked back. In the 60 years of his acting career, he's racked up just over 120 credits, and he's got a few more films in post-production. He avoided the draft for the Vietnam War by stating he was a conscientious objector and instead worked in a Los Angeles hospital for two years. During this time, he pursued his acting career on the side and tried to rack up as many credits as possible. He focused mainly on television work during this time and appeared in shows such as That Girl, Gunsmoke, Peyton Place, and The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. He also focused heavily on theater work and appeared in off-Broadway plays as well as quite a lot of improvisational theater. In the late 60s, he made his film debut in The Graduate. He had an uncredited role and one line in which he states, Shall I get the cops? I'll get the cops. Little did audiences know that this bit part was being played by someone who would become a star by the next decade. His first major film role was in the 1973 film American Graffiti, and he started getting more attention from audiences. This was followed up by a role in the Canadian film The Apprenticeship of Duddy Kravitz, for which he won praise, most notably by famous film critic Pauline Kael. Richard Dreyfuss's Career The film that made his career was arguably Jaws. He played marine biologist Hooper, and as of this video, he's the only surviving member of the main cast. Jaws was, of course, a major blockbuster, and Richard Dreyfuss became a household name. To this day, Jaws is one of the most watched Hollywood films, and it's frequently aired on TV, streaming platforms, and at reunion screenings. Jaws was followed up by a TV movie called Victory at Entebbe, which was about the hijacked plane that stopped at Entebbe Airport in Uganda with the passengers held hostage by the country's dictator Idi Amin. Richard Dreyfuss played Colonel Yonatan Netanyahu, who helps rescue the hostages. While a TV movie, this was a huge hit and showed audiences that Dreyfus could hold his own when acting alongside great actors like Kirk Douglas, Burt Lancaster, and Elizabeth Taylor. Dreyfus teamed up again with Steven Spielberg in 1977 for Close Encounters of the Third Kind. In this film, he had his first lead role as Roy Neary. He plays the patriarch of a family who witnesses paranormal activity and wants to investigate further. This is another one of his most famous roles and was fitting for his first lead role in a film. Some of his other notable films and TV shows include Whose Life Is It Anyway, Down and Out in Beverly Hills, Stand By Me, Tin Men, Stakeout, Mr. Holland's Opus, and his latest release in 2022, the Christmas movie Save Christmas. Richard Dreyfuss's Life Richard Dreyfuss has had a largely successful career but has had to overcome many hurdles. He has suffered from bipolar disorder for several years, and he appeared in Stephen Fry's documentary, The Secret Life of the Manic Depressive, where he discussed his illness and how it's affected his life. He's been married three times, first to Jeremy Rain, with whom he had three children. They were married for nine years before their divorce in 1992. From 1999 to 2005, he was married to Janelle Lacey until their divorce. His most recent marriage is to Svetlana Erokin, to whom he's been married since 2006. While Richard is a respected actor by most of his colleagues, there have been times when he's had a tiff or two with some of his co-stars and even a director. Famously, he and Robert Shaw didn't get along on the set of Jaws. He also didn't get along with Bill Murray on the set of What About Bob? However, he's claimed that his feud with Shaw was only on the set and they made up before Shaw passed away. He also didn't get along with director Oliver Stone when he worked with him on the set of W. He was embroiled in a brief controversy in 2017 when writer Jessica Teich stated she had once been sexually harassed by Dreyfus. He denied the claim, and there hasn't been a case or any major follow-up. 
Dreyfus has won several acting awards, including an Oscar for Best Actor in The Goodbye Girl, a Satellite Award for his role in The Day Reagan Was Shot, and a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Fest Film Festival in Belgrade, Serbia in 2015. Richard Dreyfus confirms why he quit acting. Richard Dreyfus has amassed over 120 credits, mostly in film with occasional TV work. He has five upcoming projects, including one scheduled to be released in 2023. He's also produced a few films, including Murder at Yellowstone City, which he also acted in. He's lent his hand as a writer for a few productions as well. We're grateful that Dreyfus has given us such a great body of work and that we haven't seen the last of him. But it seems we won't see any new projects of his anytime soon, and perhaps for good. In addition to his acting, Richard Dreyfus has always been passionate about his country and the freedom and opportunities it provides. He's been outspoken on issues like free speech, privacy, and the Constitution. He feels dissent is getting quashed in today's America, and that is profoundly un-American. He's appeared on several political talk shows to discuss his views and the importance of preserving the values America was built on. He helped found the Dreyfus Civics Initiative, which aims to teach the younger and future generations of Americans about the importance of their country and its principles. He's also been passionate about writing about American history and partaking in documentaries about the country's culture and values. We may not see him acting again, but we certainly haven't heard the last of Richard Dreyfus. For now, he's going to dedicate his time to speaking out about the issues he cares about most. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite role from Richard Dreyfus? Let us know in the comments section below.